What's up guys, this is the Roman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Play as the United States. So last time we withstood the Marathas in Bengal, now we are withstanding them at Satara. So the opening forces have a 64 pounder great gun, um, and we have a fairly mediocre force in trying to stop them, and we have lots of Indian troops on the way, so this will be rather interesting to see what happens. So let's fight. I suspect if we don't have a if we don't if they don't because they will probably overwhelm my defenses faster than any reinforcing armies can get there to provide support but we will have to see how things develop okay to be honest we may still have a breach in the city from where we attacked it Do we have a breach? Loads of breaches, but they're all at the rear. So they're over here on this front. Okay. It's got lots of infantry. Which is a good and bad thing. it means we can provide lots of cover but it also means we are at the at the risk of being stretched too thin come on deploy normally there you go so this is a really quick and dirty rough deployment come on Good. So that leaves us with quite a lot of infantry actually to fill up any gaps, but I would like probably a bit more a bit more coverage on units running down the flanks. So we're gonna have one gun here. To, f to cover the majority of the entrances and then keep one gun in reserve with a quick line battery in the centre and probably keep our regiment of horse outside the walls to try do some do some damage externally let's get the general's bodyguard out of the way so that leaves us with four infantry units, five infantry units, ready to deploy. So they're all coming from over here, including the reinforcements. At the very least our opening salvos of artillery seem to be well well done. Let's try to target the rocket gun. Click on the rockets. Okay, let's pull back. This infantry unit looks like they're aiming for this section of the wall. To be honest, actually, let's focus the great gun. Oh, wow. Go over here, go over here. Quick, 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 quick. Do not get on that section of the wall. Just leg it to the left. Come on. Infantry, get ready. Let's get ready. What we're going to do is inside, inside the city, inside the building. Get the Pennsylvania rifles inside this building. 200 survived. 
Not bad. Is that going to change anyone's mind? Seemingly not. Let's pull these guys back here, because it looks like they're now trying to target the section of the wall. Just abandon the wall entirely. This, in, this section of the wall as well. Um, yeah, to be honest, I bet those are reasonable targets. So much cavalry. I should have Pennsylvania rifle right before you do that. Let's run you up front here and deploy stakes. To be honest, I think lots of these guys that are currently guarding the flank are going to end up moving. I significantly doubt these guys are that interested in flat running all the way around if they've blown a load of holes in the front. So deploy a great line of stakes. to go for the rockets. Oh, just in time, too. Code 7 troops, and they're wavering. But they are going to bring up more artillery. So these guys on this flank, I think... It's fast in me. I mean, this line of infantry should do so much damage to them as they flank around, but maybe not decisive damage to any one unit. Some Pentiranian rifles have deployed stakes, let's get into the armoury. So they're starting to knock down these sections of the wall. Because my only real hope is once these guys have... Hopefully these guys have been weakened enough so that by the time they get around the flank they will... Yeah, that's why I want to kill them really with quickline. It's because I was charging them with my cavalry. At least the great gun seems to have ceased firing. So maybe it'd be a bit safe to garrison a section of wall again. Because these guns are too useful just to not fire. need to really do some work. All misfires, all short. Good damage against the dervishes though. 
Okay, this may be it. Start of the first march, the old damn cavalry. Pelano. Which, if they do come in, it's just going to be forming squares everywhere. Damn, that's a great time shot. If we can get the shot off quickly enough. Oh, damn! Hole in the wall. God, there must have been spies in here. Stand on the wall in a big lump and then come back. Will you garrison the walls? Good. General's been killed. Really? It's from one of the one of the, one of the guns in the fort, I suppose. Captured. Oh no, they're being shot at from the fort, so don't worry about them. She maybe hit the square formation right here. Kill them! Kill them all! You maybe hit this unit Pindari Horseman. That'd be quite a good little position. So let's form the line again. I heard lots of elephants die. Good, that's half of those cavalrymen are dead. Here come the dervishes. As long as they try to go inside, that's what I want. There it is. Good, they are eager. So I bet these guys have done a hell of a lot of good. Damn! Now they've been shot at by artillery. Keep an eye on them. Oh, let's reload. Some more artillery coming on from over here, is it? Yep, there it is. Another 12 pounder. Soon, I don't think it would be too crazy to deploy my cavalry. 
I mean, right now they've got loads of cavalry. Lancers and... Have you, have you not got any skirmish cavalry? Probably do somewhere. the dervishes to make sure they're out. They aren't actually using their cannons. That's good. These cannons have done they've done some work. Two artillery units over here. Send one of my cavalry units down there to knock out those howitzers, those foot units. Knock out those foot artillery units. try again. So let's get this foot artillery to run. That's a great gun as well. It'd be great if we could take them out. Hey. Um, they're just out of range of my artillery. Someone's using a drill side again. Obviously it's a bank holiday so you can't possibly let anyone have any peace and quiet. You've got to get their crap out and start playing with it. Okay, let's go for this unit, because you might get some very good collateral damage. They've just fired, so I wonder if we're going to... Oh, they're going to... Yeah, they've aimed at them. I have to be fairly quick down here, um, because this is where a reinforcing army is coming in. So, when I kill these guys and make them rout, I need to leg it as quickly as possible. Good, that's the dervishes gone. Okay. Now's the time to get these guys off the wall. Should be safe enough to get off the wall quickly. Um, regiment of horses moving in. They, they're going to waver. So go in after this gun unit. Fortunately, because they come in at a bit of a funny angle, I'll have a bit of warning. Ooh, it's a large mortar team. There's a cavalry unit. Oh no, it's a cover unit coming from the rear! <laughs> if they can hold their own against the lancers long enough for the mortars to come in. And if I lose them to the mortars, I think I'd take that as a it's a good win, because that'd be quite a few units of that'd be three units of artillery destroyed. Now we're in combat, we might actually go to beat the Lancers. The, the trouble always was when we are charging. So on the charge, they do much more damage than us. Fortunately, the eye's done a very smart thing, and they've actually flanked us, and they've stopped me from being able to hit their mortars. See ya, 1st Regiment of Horse. We barely knew ye. Let's get on with the combat. Yeah, we're getting flanked. Let's 
and ideally we can just bash into them enough to make them rout. Well, I doubt they're going to live long enough to do that. 50 lancers, no, 50 cavalry regiment of force versus about 200 lancers. I don't, I don't think they're going to make it. Okay, so they're sending in some troops, but I doubt they will. I doubt they'll last. Is there wavering? Yeah, they've routed. And they're probably gonna die. Like, completely. Oh no, some of them may escape. Ah, someone's headed them off. Two! Two men remaining! One man remaining. This is the last guy. They sent they sent me out of the fort, and then they just charged me in to die. Good, okay. So everyone's annoyingly just out of reach, so let's round shot the war elephants. Here come the mortar shots against the one routing one routing regiment of horse. Hey! I think I'm get, about to get some lancers. Good. That's brought some more guys into range. Oh no, General's bodyguard. Don't want General's bodyguard, they're pretty useless. Oh, the dervishes are all spread out. Lots of cavalry. Who are you? Your lances. Square. Charge the lancers. So I want to get them close to the walls, so that at the very least these guys would have maximum time to pick off as many enemy cavalry as they can. You must make all their lance units, lance units route. One of ours is routing. Let's run our general's unit in because he's probably going to die. Even if we don't, so. Good. So that's provoked. Let's provoke the cavalry to make a move because otherwise they'll just get shot down before the walls. Diaries aren't charging in. They're a target. If they stay out there, my line infantry will just shoot them to bits. Charge my general into their general, and also just draw more of their infantry in against. Oh, well, they just ran straight through, huh?
yeah, at least here we, we can kill as many of many of their mounted units as possible as they dither around outside the walls. So if these guys try to flank around, they will find lots of troops waiting for them. The square shouldn't break. Granted, they're against lances, but we are in square, and we've got lots of chaps that can fire into their position. Yeah, my general died, which is not a surprise. As long as you can kill some of their elephants and consider it a win. Lots of routing before the walls, which is perfect. Good. Guards infantry regiment. Just make them walk. The general's routing as well, so we'll soon be due another unit. At the very least, this, this unit are killing lots of their pikes, but they are running out of ammo. They're doing lots of good stuff. But as is, as is always the problem when you're fighting against India, ammunition conservation is a concern. Now, these guys are not so worried about it, it's a target rich environment, like they may as well go for it. Same with these guys, really. So I might turn it off now. These guys keep going, hopefully. They can kill a general. If not, they'll just kill some of these pikemen, which is still a win. But killing a general would be lovely. Let's fire one again. Because they're about to be charged. Ah! General's bodyguard, get out of there! Oh wow, those men piled into the bodyguard. You made them route. Good, they've both routed. Okay, let's target this unit of horsemen on the flank. Specifically try to target their elephants. So it looks like we're spending most of our time shooting at a pikeman, which I'm not as bothered about. Brilliant unit of marines, but you know, marines are still useful. Oh, damn, I thought we didn't, didn't think they were going to be deploying properly. Something like that. Try some quick climb fire against. Oh, you were shooting against the cavalry, weren't I? Wasn't I? So that's that covering it pretty much neutered. Let's go after the pikemen instead. Lots of routing, but it looks like it's ultimately it's just manifesting itself in lots of lots of artillery back here. Oh, the mortars are moving up. 
more infants are routing. I think it's these pikes that have caused the problem. Yep, they charged the wall. Brilliant. So let's take. Let's see if we can run these guys off the wall. If I can run these guys off the wall, will they... Because look, that's what it is. They just squat straight into the wall. As soon as I start moving off the wall, they're like, oh. To be honest, these guys I'm probably going to put here and just have them sit in square formation to draw in... Cavalry. Guns are still dropping artillery in. Maybe I want to. That was a hell of a miss by the gun. By my. Artillery. Maybe I don't bother with them. Maybe I do go for them and wait for my supporting infantry to move up to sweep them away from the wall. No, you go for them. The Hindu warriors. Because if you get good hits, you will damn near kill the entire unit. They've charged into the wall as well. This is why they're in square. It's because they it's because it's the most useful thing they can achieve. Ooh, quick line going in. Lost hundred men immediately. It's the most useful thing this unit can do when they've especially when they're about to run out of ammunition. Okay, so you've, just, you've done a lot of damage to them. Oh, don't worry about the armed peasantry. Armed peasantry, armed peasantry. I mean, you may as well go for that unit of armed peasantry. See? How can they resist a lovely, tasty square? actually run back here. These guys have no ammo, so they're going to run over here. Yeah, that armed peasantry lost 200 men, so they're done for. Be shade close. Come on, thirty first. Get your guns reloaded. Poor fire. Three volleys. Wavering. 
within the next two they should route. I think this African native infantry is going to take up position on this section of the wall because we've still got a half ammunition load. So, yeah. To be honest, I'm not doing much damage to the pikemen, so I'm tempted just to hold fire and serve ammunition. This might be a good idea now. Let's quick line, let's see if it's too close. Maybe just. So let's pick. Longer range target for my howitzers. If I can deploy my troops like this, they'll still have the arc to turn and fire into the breach. But if I get this regiment of foot artillery in position, then. I can do lots of decent square damage. Okay, let's bring let's bring them inside. It's the only safe thing to do with them. My howitzer continues to fire on the side. This line infantry because they have no. What the hell was that? Oh, they're blowing. They shoot something shooting it. Tim fire will off. Just let these guys engage them. Mr. Sharp. Oh, damn, I lose yeah, some Continental Marines on this flank. Oh, let's bring him down like so. Pivot your line like so. Okay, no, go like this. Charge at the wall and kill them. If you're going to keep shooting at them, then I'm going to turn you fire it all off. I'm going to turn you fire it on, get the armed peasantry. Same with you. Just hit the gatehouse. See, this is just hate manually targeting these units. They just pivot around for days. Tank them. 
I don't run away. Charge straight in and kill him. They're better than they are. Do something like this. And you guys are reactivated if someone comes in that way. Turn the fire off. Good lads. Continue to shoot. Quick climb at the peasants. God, this artillery did some really good shots back here. Put on double speed. I mean, they're looping around. There's the pikes. Yeah, there's the pikes. Right now, they're soon, soon they'll be in. They'll be parity in numbers. Well, that's what, 20 in it? So I'm gonna kill these guys at the rear. Go on. Kill him, he's on the ground. Okay, here comes. Okay, okay. Snipe my general. Fair enough. Quick one against the dervishes. Okay, we speed this up a little bit. My artillery is still firing volley after volley into the central gate. Okay, let's get you go get you guys out of there. Okay, you guys get up on this section of the wall. It's the only place you'll be not massively in the way. Good, we've blown the hell out of the Darth Dervishes. Yeah, kind of on the flank, but it's not going to do any good. Lovely to drop a nice quick line on them, but instead aim for the peasantry because now they're going to be too close. The pikes are finally routing, as annoying as they are, sat right there. So we've got. Oh, yep, the dervishes just ate a whole load of grape shot right in the face, and they're broken. Credit these dervishes before they get a chance to hit our city. Because the hope is is that if we can kill them before they get to our lines, their morale will suffer and they'll be easier to break and push off. This wasn't meant to be a, an hour special, but by god it's gonna be. Let's just halt there canister shot firing of the cannons and let's specifically target 
and target the armed peasantry. Well, maybe not the armed peasantry, maybe just the gate, this space here. We'll kill whoever comes through the door. Good stuff. Guy got to hold off for 17 more minutes. <laughs> Should be doable. We've managed it for almost three quarters of an hour now. So here come the dervishes. So these guys probably went route route. And to be honest, that's probably ideal because that means that they will stick around, they will be low morale troops for us to defeat again and again. So let's go back to round shot with our quick line and go after the great gun, may as well. Okay, so we've got... Oh wow, they, they breached us right in the... Uh, Oh, well, there's dead machines. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another breach. We wanted to garrison this one. Stupid unit. Let's get both of them to try to like form a square on top of the other because right now neither of them are my strongest unit so I'm not worried about keeping them alive. So we're still on round shot and Dying Horseman might be going around for a flank. Oh no, they're just going to try running through a different entrance. Climb the great gun. A, a few grenadiers just bugged down inside that building. Good stuff. So you form square. These 24 infantry. Are they bugged out up there actually? Yeah, they are. They're all there. Well, now it's all about watching my howitzers do work. Wait a minute. Are those mortars creeping up? Well, as you are no longer my general, because my general is dead, let's put you to work. You can knock out the mortar crew and these three, oh no, two artillery units and there's a cavalry unit. But yes, because you're not my general anymore, let's put you to work. Because he's because he's dead. An errant cannonball shot took him out. Doesn't seem to have caused them to uh, rethink their grand strategy. Yep, there go the mortars. It's nice to charge him in. There's no point in. It's 
no point necessarily worrying about keeping them alive. Well, actually, let's play a bit of roundy round. Okay, if they're not worried about playing roundy round, then we'll go straight into the artillery. No, they do want to play round, roundy round. No, they don't. Okay, I don't know why you're deciding to go that way. <laughs> nice job, General. Jesus. It was a bit of a suicide run, I'm not going to pretend. Round shot the great gun. Okay, let's try and get back with the cavalry. Okay, and then, because they're letting me. I was hoping they'd let me draw them a bit nearer. Okay, cool. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the recording here and then skip to the end of the battle because I doubt anything super interesting will happen because they seem to be holding all their forces near the border. So right here. See you in a sec, guys. There we are, guys. Back in and we managed to win. Unsurprisingly, because they decided not to attack us. Close victory. It was pretty close. If they put a few more... Conserve to keep them out. Although it's probably going to be the end of us um, next turn, or maybe even now, because they may just bring another army in. Oh, we've driven them off for now. This is why. Oh, oh God, they're all colossal. <laughs> yep, <laughs> they're coming everywhere. This is why I was very, very acutely aware of wanting to absolutely maximise. Okay, let's withdraw you back. Back to the main force. Ah, some people have... Ah, oh, the dang it. Let's pull back, because their oh. army's isolated. And yes, we will intercept this Plains and Nations force. However, we are really over the time limit, so this will be the end of the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully the, the final destruction of the last of the Plains and Nations peoples. Right here. Cheers, guys.